Hi, Terry here from Stamping Magic. Welcome back to my channel. Today's project is a little wrap lid box. It measures three and a quarter inches wide, one and three eighths of an inch tall and three inches deep. I've used the Sailing Home stamp set to decorate it. And I've sized it so it will fit four Ferrero Rocher chocolates inside. You can see here how the lid wraps around to the top of the box. And it's just held closed by a simple bow. So let's get started. These are all the measurements you need for all the elements required to create this project. So if you're interested in reproducing it, take a screenshot so you can refer to it later. I'm starting with two pieces of Pretty Peacock cardstock. Now the long slim piece is going to be used for the wrap around. The square piece is used for the tray. Now you want to score this piece on all sides at one and three eighths of an inch. Then the wrap portion you want to score at three inches and four and three eighths of an inch. There's just a little cutting required to create a tab on each corner of this mat. Now all I have to do is cut up the score line to separate the tab and then I'm going to slant cut each side of that corner tab. Then I'll do the same for the other corner before rotating the cardstock and repeating on this side. I can then fold on all the scored lines and burnish them with my bone folder. Putting the tray together is very simple. All I have to do is add glue to each of the corner tabs in turn and then position them to the adjacent side section. And when I do this, I'm ensuring that the corner remains completely square. For the closure I'm using some of our braided linen trim and I've got two pieces that are approximately nine inches long. The first thing I'm going to do is mark the position for the adhesive. Now the box will fit onto the wrap close to the score line and it will be centred across the width. So you can see there's a little overhang at the bottom and I'm just going to make a little pencil mark where that is and that's to ensure that I don't put adhesive in front of that mark because it will show if I do. I'm using tear and tape adhesive and I'm going to put three small strips on each side making sure I don't go in front of that pencil mark on the base. On the lid it's not such an issue because I'm going to cover it with a separate panel. I'm also going to mark the halfway point across the width on both sides so I know exactly where to lay my trim down. I can then position my linen trim on both sides, lining it up with the pencil marks. Then I can erase the pencil marks 
and then I'm going to cover with even more tear and tape and this will make sure that that linen trim is very secure. There's no way it's going to pull out. I've removed the backing from the adhesive on the base part of the wrap and now I can position the tray on top of it. I'm using wet glue, you can use tape adhesive if that's what you prefer to use generally. I like to use wet glue because you get a little wiggle room before it sets. So if you don't get it into the exact position you want straight away, you've still got time to move it about a bit. Now the back of the box goes against that score line and then I'm going to centre it across the width and then I'll give it a good press down with my bone folder. To cover the adhesive and the linen trim on the lid section of the wrap I've got another mat of Pretty Peacock. Now this should be cut to just a tiny bit smaller than the wrap size. I'm going to add adhesive and then put it into position. I can then add the lovely chocolates to the box before tying the linen thread into a bow. Then I can trim off the ends of the ribbon. This is a Sailing Home stamp set and today I'm using the two boats and one of the sentiments. I'll be stamping on some scrap pieces of normal weight Whisper White card and I'll be using Pretty Peacock ink. These will all be cut out using dies from the Smooth Sailing set. I have a small mat in Seaside Spray card here and I've already embossed this using the Old World Paper 3D embossing folder. Now the right side is this side but I'm going to use the wrong side because this looks more like waves. I'm going to add a little more dimension by adding some more Seaside Spray ink all over the raised edges on this piece and I'm just applying it with a sponge dauber. I have another small mat in Whisper White and I'm going to layer these two together. Then I'm just going to place my sentiment in the middle for now and I can work out where I want to add the sailboats. And these I'm just going to apply a little glue to the edges 
and adhere these to the sentiment panel. You just want to make sure the masts are straight. The mats can then be added to the top of the box. Then I can remove the backings from the dimensionals and I can position the sentiment panel right in the middle of the box lid. And to finish off, I'm just going to add a couple of our basic rhinestones to that sentiment. And that's it. The box is now complete. It was very simple and very quick to do. I have made just one more. And for this one, I used the beautiful Friendship stamp set together with some of our older ink colours. The sentiment was die cut using one of the Stitch So Sweetly dies. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Bye for now.